Well, this is it. This is where it all ends. This is where I'll get all the glory. Or die trying. So, let's buy some supplies. So, I'm gonna go with a total of 50 hyper potions, just in case 12 max potions is good. 8 full restores as well. Uh, revives, I'm gonna go for 20, just to be on the safe side, even though I'm probably not gonna need more than like 2 or 3. And uh, a whole bunch of full heals and stuff for every status out there. So, here we go! Elite Four rematches! We're going to do them in the same order as we did the first time. Of course, we've been there before, so it does look a little bit less spectacular than it did the first time. Of course, the Elite Four's dialogues will change to reflect the fact that you've beaten them before, especially since, well, and it, it's sort of weird that it happens, like, in the one game where you don't become the champion until the second time you go through them, which is sort of ironic in a way. So, we're gonna be fighting Chantal first, and I decided to go with Lilligant as my lead since she is, once again, going to be leading with Kofagrigus, and the reason why I'm going with Lilligant is because, well, I could use Tyranitar, but the threat of Will-O-Wisp makes that a rather meh option. So, better play it safe and go with Kofagrigus, not Kofagrigus, Lilligant instead. I'm gonna open up with Petal Dance, see how much dad that does. A lot! And Mummy removes my own tempo, so I'm going to be confused when Petal Dance ends. And it decided to go for Will-O-Wisp anyway, even though Lilligant is a special attacker. And here's the full restore just to, to stall for some burn damage, I guess. This is a strategic use of it, so uh, Petal Dance isn't going to kill it. So at least she's not, she's not going to be using any more full restores for the simple reason that even though she has four, she's only going to use one. Same for all the Elite Four members, all the Super Bosses, which is why Cynthia let Garchomp die last time. You were a lot to tell me about this, even after I put an annotation, mostly from people who uh, have mobile devices and thus cannot see the annotations. Come on, YouTube! Stop! Just stop changing the channel layouts all the time and just allow mobile users to see annotations! Anyway, Tyranitar vs. Frostlass. Very one-sided, Blizzard connects, despite the fact that the weather isn't favorable, and Crunch is going to take down Frostlass in one hit since, well, its defense stats are hardly stellar. 70 across the board. Its big thing is its speed, however, with 110 and 80 for both, both attack and special attack. Golurk! I'm going to go with uh, Milotic on this one, because, well, Water, super effective against ground, you don't need to tell me that. Of course, Lilligant would have been a viable choice as well, but eh, it's got that burn damage, and I guess Tyranitar could have also worked with Crunch, though maybe it has a fighting move, I don't recall. So my Milotic is all around the safest choice that I could use for this Golurk. And then, what's next? We got Drifblim. There are a few Pokémon that can take it down, but I'm gonna go with Tyranitar, because I don't think this Drifblim has anything that's really going to threaten Tyranitar. Definitely not its stabs that are both uh, not very effective. So, uh, oh, Thunder didn't connect, but Stone Edge does in the clash of the inaccurate moves. So, Drifblim can have all the HP at once, a Stone Edge from Tyranitar, super effective on top of that, is pretty much GG. Now, got uh, two Pokémon left, Jellicent. This one is going to be Zekrom's, because, well, once again, Lilligan, Burn, yada yada yada. And besides, Zekrom is itching for some action. It, it, it's a freaking Uber, it deserves to be used, to be used every once in a while. So, Fusion Bolt. And on top of that, well, a Jellicent's uh, physical defense is lower than its special defense, which means that it's a very good choice as well. So Fusion Bolt was disabled. Not that I care all that much, because I'm probably going to be switching it out anyway. Chandelure, yes. So I'm going to go with the Milotic instead. So Chandelure, huge offensive powerhouse, but 
My logic is pretty good in uh, special defense, so I'm not really intimidated. I'm just going to tank the hit. If it's faster, that is. And no, it's not even faster! So Chandelure and its measly defenses, especially HP. Eh, yeah. There goes Chandelure. So, one down. Four more to go. My Lotic level 77, it levels up incredibly fast. It's uh, in that uh, experience bracket where Pokemon level up the fastest, especially after like level 70 or so. So, Chantal goes down. Yeah, apologize to your Pokemon because they got brutally slaughtered. I, I don't think the Pokemon Center is going to be able to cure them after that. You're gonna have to go to the freaking hospital if you want if you want to get them uh, back in shape after that thrashing I gave you. Now, uh, I'm going to heal up because, well, I didn't buy all these items for, eh, for nothing. Burn heal on uh, Lilligant. And I'm not going to heal its HP, though. You are going to see why in just a minute. So we're going to be fighting Grimsley next, the dark type. Well, I was about to say master, but um, if he goes eh, the same way Chantal did, I might really want to uh, put uh, that title in question. Sort of weird, though, that after all these generations, we have yet to have a Dark-type gym for some reason. I don't know why they're so adamant on not giving us one, but whatever. Uh, well, Grimsley is as much of a fortune cookie as the Plasma Sages ever were, so blah, 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 blah. Well, um... The cards I've been dealt and the cards you've been dealt, well, once you're done, you, I, I, I'm really hoping that you complain about them because it's going to sound really, really unfair. So unlike last time, Grimsley is going to lead with a brand new member of his team, Sharpedo! Which is why I decided not to heal Lilligant. I'm just going to use Giga Drain on its absolutely atrocious defensive stats. And I went first, so that means it's going to go down in one hit. There we go! It was as simple as that. Sharpedo dies a horrible, horrible death, and Lilligant is healed back up to full. I didn't even need to use up a potion or anything like that. So, Mian Shao versus Crafty. Pretty good matchup considering it's fast, it's slow, I'm fast, and I have a super effective high jump kick with its name on it. Now, will it be enough for the KO? Because Scrafty has pretty good defenses. Yes, that's enough. There goes Scrafty. Up next, we have Lyper. Same thing. We've fought these fuckers a lot lately. Let me guess. Fake out. Yep. Lyper's ever so predictable. So, let's just go with high jump kick. That should be it. Like, could have used Drain Punch, but I really don't want to mess around with it, uh, uh, with the much lower power, unless I really need it. Crocodile! I'm gonna keep, uh, Mian Shao in, why not? Or maybe I should have gone to Lilligant, because, well, Intimidate uh, wouldn't have affected Lilligant. And is that enough? Yes! Even with Intimidate! Crocodile can't stand on its own two legs after a, a high jump kick. Level 75 now, Bisharp! Oh, come on! You're you're about to get absolutely annihilated annihilated by Mian Shao alone. Come on, quadruple weakness to fighting now. It's not. It's like you're not even trying. Good Lord, Drapion! Now it's got one weakness, which is ground, and my ground user is Tyranitar. Now, even though it lost its Bug Stab when evolving. It still might pack a bug move, so let's just be careful. But I'm fairly confident that um, I can take it anyway. And let's go with Earthquake. Thunderfang? You really have nothing better than Thunderfang? Against a Tyranitar? You don't have, like, x or something? Anything? But Drapion survives and goes straight into full restore mode as I recover a bit of HP with leftovers, another earthquake, full restore as expected, and uh, he's just not going to be spamming these because as I said before, he can only use one for some silly reason. So, Trapion is once again back in the red, 
and I should be able to kill it. Too bad I don't have a priority move to make this quick and painless. Just going with Crunch in case... Well, um, I jinxed myself by criticizing his choice of Thunderfang, but uh, tur it turns out I got paralyzed by it. But yeah, Crunch was just in case of uh, unforeseen shenanigans, but it was its last Pokemon anyway. I didn't really keep count because Mian Chao just killed them so fast. But anyway, that's two members of the Elite Four down, and somehow he's not crying nearly as much as I hoped he would. La la la. Sometimes it may never land at all, like your Pokemon after I'm done kicking their asses, they're just blasting off again. So, back to healing now. I am going to heal Paralysis on uh, Tyranitar, and uh, you know what? That's going to be pretty much it for now. We're going to move on to the next Elite Four member, which is Caitlyn. But before that, I'm just going to uh, take the time to save what I've done so far in terms of game and in terms of footage to make sure I don't have an unforeseen crash or something uh, destroying all this molestation I gave these two. So I am going to see you in just a second once I'm done saving everything. So give me just a minute. And we are back to fight Caitlyn, the third member of the Elite Four. Now, you guys remember how I beat her last time, right? Right? Well, if you don't remember, I'm going to give you a refresher. Because I'm going to do it all over again. But this time, I'm going to go all the way through with it for the simple reason that her team is much tougher than last time, but her lead is still a sitting duck. It was Ryu Nicholas last time, it's Musharna this time, so uh, it has a hypnosis, so I hope I can put it to sleep before it does the same to me. So, Sleep Powder Connect, so I'm going to start setting up as soon as this turn is over. Musharna is asleep. So let's click on Quiver Dance. One! That's one quiver dance! Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! And it's still asleep, so let's do that again. Two! That's two quiver dances! Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! And it's still asleep! Wow, heavy sleeper for something that's supposed to induce sleep! Three! That's three quiver dances! Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! And yeah, it woke up, it was about time to, but Hypnosis misses, Sleep Powder misses, and Hypnosis connects! So, fortunately I have three um, Quiver Dances so far, so it's probably not going to do all that much damage. Whatever it's going to use is going to be Dream Eater, it has Psychic as well, but Dream Eater, Dream Eater makes more sense in these circumstances, and Lilligant wakes up already! But that, that uh, Dream Eater... It's still stung a bit despite having three quiver dances. Wow. Four! That's four quiver dances! Ah, ah, ah! And it wakes up. Hypnosis misses, though. That's the perk of using sleep powder instead of hypnosis. Is that it's far, far more reliable. So, let's get back to setting up. We still have two more left to do. Five! That's five quiver dances! Ah, and Musharna is still asleep, so we're going to get our last one right there. Six! That's six quiver dances! Ah, ah, ah! The number of the day is six! And it's still asleep, so I'm just going to use Giga Drain to uh, heal the damage that it did since, well, it's neutral damage, quadruple special attack. Ouch! Just ouch! So, there goes Musharna, what's next? It's Sigilyph! Um, so, uh, it's, uh, it, it was killed by four Quiver Dances last time, but I took all my precautions this time around, so I'm ready to take it on, and it's probably gonna die pretty quickly. There we go. Even if it's not very effective, you know, quadruple freaking special attack, and Lilligant gains a level, not that I really care at this point. Metagross! This is sort of the reason why I really wanted to go all the way, because it's freaking Metagross! And Petal Dance should kill it in one hit. It would be absolutely terrible if it didn't, but down it goes! So, 
Up next, we are going to have Ryu Nicholas. Ryu Nicholas was her lead last time. 